Morning class R. I'm going to be doing some doubling with you this morning and um, with a bit of a difference because we're now doing mini beasts. I've made some ladybirds. So in front of me, I'm just going to show you how I made them. Very simply, I've got some red card. If you've got white paper at home, you can colour them in. I drew some circles and then on the circles, I drew some ladybirds and I added dots to them. I'm going to cut the circles out. I can get rid of this. And then here are my ladybirds with dots on. And then I've cut them in half. So now each ladybird's made semicircles. So now I'm going to split them all up. And one more. Jumble them around a bit. So now I've got lots of mixed up jumbled ladybirds. Now, can you remember what I said I was going to do today? I said I wanted to do some doubling. Can you remember what doubling is? Doubling is the same amount twice. So you need exactly the same thing two times. So in the first bit I'm going to choose one half of a ladybird. It can be anyone I like. I'm going to close my eyes and put my finger down. This one. Okay so I'm going to find the other half of this ladybird that matches. If I want to double this number, I need exactly the same twice. I've only got one of it at the moment. It's one, two, three. So I need to find the other side of my ladybird. I need to double it. I want exactly the same thing again. So there it is. Can you spot it? It's probably going to be quicker than me. Yes! What do you think? that look right? I think I've doubled it. So I can show you on my whiteboard, if I take the ladybird over here, my part per whole model. I've got two amounts. One part is three. The other part exactly the same is three. And then I need to slide them together. So it sounds like I'm quite hungry. And I've got the same amount twice. So I can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I know that three add three is six. I could also check it on my number line. I could find number three and it's the same amount twice. So it's three and three more. Three and one, two, three more makes six. Must be right if I've got the same on my number line and my part part whole model. So now I'm going to be very clever and write my number sentence up here. Oh, I'm going to start with the answer. I need to start with one part, three. And I was adding, so I need the add sign. Can you remember what that looks like? It's the cross. Three, add, three, we're doubling it's the same amount twice. Three add three equals can you remember? Equals six. There we go, we've got double three. Now I'm gonna put that ladybird over here. And let's see if I can do another one. So I'm gonna close my eyes again, choose one. Aha, one, two, three, four. I can see it's two and two more, it's four. I've got four here, and if I want to double four, I need exactly four again. I need the same amount twice. Can you see the double? You can probably get it quicker than me. What do we think? Does that look right? Yes, so I've got double four. I could either, again, count them all up using my part part whole model. Four and four more. I could use, I'm going to start with my number line this time. I'm going to find four and count on four more. Now remember, we only count the jumps, so I'm not going to start counting here. As soon as I move my finger, I'm going to start counting on four more. One, two, three, four. The number line says eight. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
So that must mean double four is eight. See if you can help me write this as a number sentence. Double four. So it was four. We're adding when we're doubling. The answer's getting bigger. We're combining two amounts. Four add four, the same number twice, equals, can you remember? All together it makes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right then, see if we can do the next one. Do this one quickly, close my eyes. That's a nice easy one. Double one. See if I can find the other half of this. Double one, I need one again. There it is. Now, I don't even think I need to count that because my clever brain can see I've now got one and one more, two. So I can very easily, oh, not easily pick them up. I could put them on the part bar hole models and push them across and recount them if I wanted to. Do. I could use my number line, one and one more, two. Or, as you get very clever, your brain can start remembering them as facts. You might already know that one and one more makes two. So this is going to be a very easy number sentence. One, add, one, equals two. Right then, not got many left. Close my eyes. Oh, and that's another simple one. So there's two. We're going to double two. I've got to find the other ladybird that matches two. There it is. Right then. I think my clever brain can work this one out. I might almost know it as a fact. Two. And two more. Two. And two more makes four. Double two is four. See if you can help me write this number sentence. Two add two equals four. Look at all this. All right, two more to go. I'll close my eyes. Pick one. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six. You might need to be careful here because they've all got lots of spots. Is it this one? Five. No, it's not got enough. Let's have one more. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's its double. I've now got six and six more. Now, I think I'm going to work it out on my part part hole model. And then I'm going to check it on my number line. So I've got six and six. We're going to push them together, add them all up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, my pot pot hole model thinks that six add six is twelve. Let's check it. Start with six, and now I need six more. One, two. Three, four, five, six. It is twelve. One ten, two units. Wow. Six. Add six. Mm. Equals twelve. Right. So that must mean if I've only got two more left, this has got to be a double. I've got one, two, three, four, five, and five more. I've got double five. Hmm. Now I know that I've got five toes and five toes. And I know what that makes. I know I've got five fingers and five fingers. And I know what I've got all together. Do you know what double five is? Let's see if it's right when we use the part part hole model. And the number line. Five and five together. Five at five equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five doubled is ten. Let's check on here. There's five. Add five more. One, two, three, four, 
five. Five and five is ten. That's right. Let's write as a number sentence. Five add five equals oops ten. Ta-da! See how many doubles you can do at home.